San Diego, California. The magnificent seals, tori, pine trees, and the famous California burrito. Don't forget about the dolphins, the whales, and the amazing culture this city possesses. Restriction of movement. Something caught my eye when I crossed the border to Tijuana, Mexico. I can feel my heart ache every single time for my indigenous Palestinian people when I cross these borders. Economic despair with walls is a reality for Palestinians along with an occupation oppression, separating the oppressor from the victim. And there is Bougie, Bougie over there across the border. In theory, we think we're limiting the movement of people to preserve the rights for what we called overperformers. And how do you do that for certain groups? You restrict the movement yeah, of other how are you groups. Doing, Diana? Okay. Diana, where's that stuff? Are we really overachievers to separate ourselves with walls? Did we even have a level playing field to compete? Okay. There you go, you see the tone? Makes a difference. I had another strange feeling in my stomach in Hawaii. The indigenous there lives like everyone else in equality and peace. But somehow economic despair is a reality. Walls in Palestine are not just for economic despair, but they're also there to destruct the ability for humans to survive. Nobody told you to put it on your face. She said it's good for the eyes. So, well, what I went into it goes to my stomach, gets me just put it directly in my skin so I can observe it and just put it whatever they want with it. Why? Why not? It doesn't taste great, so I might as well use it first. <laughs> yeah. But it sounds like it's really like a lot Brings of protein. Brings out the blue in your eye. It sounds like a lot of protein or something. Like, oh yeah, now it's like muggy. Yeah. What did you do? Who's gonna get that? She made me get that ball. You get it. I do live on a land that was once Scared. taken from indigenous tribes. Something hey, that puzzles sick. me sometimes. Yeah. Where? Yeah. Our actions now Scary. determine the future, and we do not want to repeat right. previous mistakes. My name is Rachel Corey. I'm here from the United States, I'm from Olympia, Washington. Rachel Corey became internationally famous when she was crushed to death by a bulldozer in Gaza last year. I'm here. I feel like what I'm witnessing here is a very systematic uh, destruction of people's ability to survive.
can you un, can you un, 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 un? Once you joked once, you can unjoke joke. I can unjoke joke. No, because. Beautiful surf time, maybe a little crowded. What are you doing, Diana? In Palestine, your neighbor might not be allowed to build a house because the land falls under Area C. Most of the Palestinian land falls under Area C, another strategy for the destruction of the ability for the Palestinian indigenous people to survive on their land. A systematic apartheid system in place since 1948 both internal and external restrictions were placed on the indigenous Palestinians.
we've got our village heads here. Uh, three of them, includes, including the chairperson for the village heads, uh, Mr. Nube, would like to welcome you, Sia Lamugela, Silo Baba, Uchepesen, where SDC, School Development Committee, U Baba, U. Mkanja. Mkanja sawa mugele. Ibune ulo u vice chair lady. Uh, she's the vice chair lady for the school development committee. Uh, the people I'm working with in the school. Uh, a vice chair lady, Miss Ruth Urayai. Sawa mugele. We welcome you. Please take your seat. We have got uh, the staff of Monday Primary School. Mr. Nguenya, instead of we through capture who video, is our one of our senior members in the school is called the Francis Nguenya. Uh, he seems he's very happy to be here. Uh, Mr. Nube, can you wave please there? We can, we've got Mr. Nube to visit there. He's one of our senior members of staff. Uh, we also have uh, Miss Jovu, please stand up so that we can see you. She yeah, she's our grade 7 teacher, the examination class teacher. Thank you for being here. We've got uh, Miss Mkono. Miss Mkono, please show yourself. Which is our grade 1 teacher, first grade teacher. Thank you for being here. Uh, we also have Mr. Chigogo. Mr. Chigogo, please wave. Yeah, he's our grade 6 teacher. Uh, do I see any of the teachers? Oh, they are busy preparing our nice meal. Why do Palestinians keep talking about olive trees and olive oil? In the beginning, I thought it was just a thing that most people do. They like something and they just brag about it. But it wasn't until I went to uh, Africa, they lose everything they own. So if you don't have a bank, if you don't have a currency, how do you save money? So the people in Africa would have a cow, and this cow is their savings. And depends on how many cows you have is what wealth you have. That's your wealth. That's how you eat, that's how you feed your family, and that's your backup wealth. Growing up, I noticed with our culture that olive trees and, and land, land that has olive trees on it, and olive oil, is our currency, is our heritage, is our culture. When we want to send our kids to college, we wait for the season to harvest and have some money. We, we always use the season for the olives to plan our financials, especially back in the day before modern jobs. The olive season is a critical thing for every Palestinian to be able to control their financials. And it's the same concept. They have that because pretty much that's the only thing that's constant, it's the only thing that we have is our land. And our trees that have been there for hundreds of years. This oil that we used to live, we used to eat, we used to sell to make money. It's basically the only thing that earth gave us to help us stay on it so please help us not cut one more tree not one more olive tree 300 years old trees that have been cut by the settlers a bunch of thugs that just show up to your land imagine you live in Orlando and then just a bunch of thugs show up and then kill your hundred year old trees kill the trees that that are your savings that's your money that's your way of life it's not just a saying that, oh, olive trees and olives, Palestinians. No, it's a way of life. It's our financial system. 
before there was one and it became part of us, part of our... We need change from within to cure ideology and stop pain for previous mistakes. Inheriting next generations on both sides with hate, not love. What animal you got, Liana? I don't know. We think that. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Ew, what's that? What's what? I don't know. Ew. No. Go down. Go down. No, no. Put your hand down. More assertive. More assertive. Down. I said go back. I said go back. Here we go! Oh, good job! Let him in. No. You can't give it to him even at, you have to give it to him after the command. Yeah, but she wasn't scared. Good job. Diana, Diana, have more confidence, Baba. Baba. More confidence. Tell him, tell him shake hands. Give him a shake hands. The other one. The other one. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. No, shake, it. shake hands. Shake hands. Here we go. Just put the tree. Uh, too easy. No, too easy. easy. Yeah, yeah, too easy. No, I know. This is what I do with Diana. I give her things too easy like now. Yeah. There you go, good job. Shake. There you go, you see the tone? Makes a difference. Good job. Good job. Now tell him, go down. Why is his arm like that? Go down. Go down. Stop. Look for it. Go down. Go down. Oh, and dance too. Dance, I'm dance, I'm dance.